Hello everyone, the weather forecast has promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Port Vale and they take on Ipswich Town. Well Derek, it's a nice break from league action today for these clubs. Obviously a long way to go in the tournament, the final is months away but they want to put in a good performance and get through to that next round. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Selina. He's going forward well here. Excellent passing. Well, possibilities inside the box. Crisp tackling. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, what form he's in at present. Second in the league table in terms of goals. He's been so clinical and ruthless, and I expect him to get more today. Really good challenge. How about the cross? Walker in possession. Could be troublesome. Possession given away, unfortunately. Burns. Caden Jackson. Sam Morsey. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Superb block. Well, can they be creative from here? Must score! Oh, chance missed! Nil-nil it remains. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. <laughs> well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Connor Chaplin. Caden Jackson. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And the keeper showing tremendous command. James Wilson. I must say, this looks promising. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Morsi, Caden Jackson. Tremendous ball played through. A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? On the offensive. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Morsi. It's with Selina. Sam Morsi. Tom Carroll. Keeping it moving dynamically. 
well read to ease the pressure oh a vital interception what can they do from here Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. James Wilson really sitting deep now that could be problematic high quality defending well as you can see the visitors have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it they really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more into the advanced position Jackson it's got to be and how about that for a save so the whistle then we're up the halfway stage As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Jones on the ball. Sammy Smodix. Well, visionary passing. A oh, tremendous block. Oh, pressing really high. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Could pull one back here. Ball's gone. Sam Morsey. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, he'll certainly bring much needed experience to them. Let's just hope he's still got the legs to have a real impact. I think he'd do well. Smodix. Moving forward effectively. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Routine, really. Burns. So a half an hour remaining. He's given us away. Crisp tackling.
And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Caden Jackson. Burns. And a creative look about this. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Proctor. Delightful pass. Good looking ball. Preside. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, they've decided to make a change. This to get themselves back into it. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, let's take another look. And what a confident penalty this is. Right into the top corner. That's a fantastic finish. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Can't argue with that little move. He's got to score! Oh, it's off the post! Well, they're so unlucky. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Proctor. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Sammy Smodix. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And a really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, that was the big chance they've been looking for. And that could be the match-winning save. Burns. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Determined defending. Well, visionary passing. It's still alive. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Burns. Connor Chaplin. Lost to attack from the wide areas. Sam Morsey. Selina. And the cross is very much on. Decent position. Can he finish them off? He's done it. What a climax to this game. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. And that's it, the final whistle, and the hosts will go through. Well, going forward, that was an impressive...
Is it all right if we just ask you a couple of questions? Thank you. That's all the questions we have. Skeletons. I've been going out of my mind. Cause you're giving me way too much adrenaline. Hold the line. I heard a little bump in the night. Yeah. Although it's good on paper, on occasion we collide. We collide. Skeletons. I'm finding it hard to pass the time without you. You spell it all out in black and white. I'm down. You've got something dark that I like, but I can't quite put my pinky on it. Got a good appetite for a bad reputation. Skeletons. Six feet deep, like could have been so sweet, bro. Fasten your seatbelts, call the police when I start to believe it. Skeletons. Everybody round here's got. Skeletons. Everybody round here's got. Skeletons. One at a time, they all appear. You can't close to your chest. Skeletons. You tell me that it's all for the best. Just rumors from losers. What I don't know can't hurt me, I guess. I feel the need to question your past. Like how many exes you've had. Our future's all kombucha, but we never trust the weather forecast. I'm finding it hard to pass the time without you. You spell it all out in black and white. I'm down. You've got something dark that I like, but I can't quite put my pinky on it. Got a good Skeletons. Six feet deep, like could have been so sweet, bro. Skeletons. Fasten your seatbelts, call the police when I start to believe it. Skeletons. Everybody round here's got. Skeletons. Everybody round here's got. Skeletons. One at a time, they all Our cameras on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. It's Port Vale, and they take on Swindon Town. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. 
if you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And continues his run. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. An example of how to press. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Very quick thinking there. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient the home side are in front of goal. Just look at the record. Best in the league, Stuart. Well, their attacking play has been brilliant. They're always looking to pass it forward. The wide players get good crosses into the box and the forwards have taken their chances. These fans will be hoping for more of the same today. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, Crawley Town were awarded the penalty. The luck was definitely with the goalkeeper on this one. It hit the post and it went out of play. It remains nil-nil with only eight minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Sammy Smodix. Chance to cross. It's a neat move. Oh, good use of the ball. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And what a magical save it was! Played over. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. Reed. A move of promise on the flank. Oh, super piece of play. And slipped through beautifully. Jack Payne. Is it going to be? Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Stevenage. They've scored the opener with 23 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Good tackle. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, moving it nicely. Great opportunity. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Sammy Smodix. Cross could be useful. Smuggled away. Read now. And intercepts again. Running with the ball confidently. Well, I think it's fair to say he really should have been able to give the keeper a test from there. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Jack Payne. Barry. Still level here. But the pressure escalating. 
Now, goal news to bring you from one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the details. It's a goal for Salford City. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 42 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. And it's still on. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. The cross is on. Now, oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. This to make it 1-0. And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Preside. James Wilson. And a poor ball. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Carl. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 48 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Promising looking ball. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, Manchester City had long ago identified their target, and now they've got their man, Stuart. Well, the reported fee of around £35 million represents a really good deal for them. He's talented, yes, but he's also a really top-class professional, and that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Walker in possession. Versailles, a bit sloppy in possession. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And he's won the ball. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. It's a goal for Salford City. It's now 2-1 with 60 minutes on the clock. The fans are in good spirits, Derek. Alex keeping us right up to date. Davison Barry Promising sequence 
but nothing comes of it. Real chance. Surely. And the keeper more than equal to it. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Could be dangerous. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. So back underway following the equaliser. Barry. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And possibilities here. Fruitful-looking attack over the byline, hence a goal kick. And taking it away... So a throw in here. A really intense pressure applied. Smodix. And a significant block following that cross. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. All even, but will it stay that way? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now, the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Stevenage. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. And he takes it on. Superb block. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. To confirm for you, the home side were able to find the back of the net and they hold the aces presently, leading 2-1. It's offside and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. And maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. They couldn't maintain possession. Reed. Can they grab the lead late on? Reed now. And the referee brings this contest to an end. It's We'd like to ask you some questions about the match. the questions.
Sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That could be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. It's Port Vale, and they face Forest Green Rovers. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, far from the ideal pass. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. He cuts it back. Superb block. Chance to play it in. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? I'm hearing that something has happened in one of the other venues. A goal there. Alex Scott with the news. Yep, it's a goal for Northampton Town. They've scored the opener here with 11 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And he struck the post. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent. Goal. Well, as the replay shows us, it's a decent first effort, but he's so quick to get onto the rebound. That's a good finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Himalayan. Sammy Smodix. James Wilson. Smodix. And they know they need to stop him. Himalayan. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Well, possibilities in the centre. Smodix. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Stevenson. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Good movement. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay, and there's an obvious deflection. Certainly enough to beat the keeper. He got a bit lucky there. So, in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. 
Yeah, it's a goal for Crawley Town. The score's level again now at 1 1 with 30 minutes play. Alex with the info as ever. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. And teammates to play it to. A very effective challenge put in. Wilson. How can he find someone at the far post? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Now sending it in. And a goal here. Accuracy with the header. Just what they needed. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches. And Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, it was a penalty for Bradford City. The goalkeeper was having none of it with that run-up. Totally guess what he was going to do. It remains 1-0 with 38 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. And players waiting in the centre. Wilson with it. Well, he failed to get it away properly. I must say, this looks promising. Will it happen for them? And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Well, a corner kick it is. What can they do with this one? As they look for inspiration. Delivering it. Making sure nothing came of it. Happy to take on the shot. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Well, the short corner routine. And an effective clearance. And cuts inside. This looks promising. Firing it in. Oh, excellent diving stop. And there's the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. This attack looks highly promising. Stevenson. Won it back. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they keep it going? And played towards the near post. Attending to his defensive chores. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity.
And they're making a change. In behind for him to chase. Now well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's oh, Derek, what a chance this is. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Coming off the pitch, number 19, David Abu. Coming onto the pitch, number 13, Jamie Proctor. Well, that's one for them to pursue. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, how about the short corner? Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put him in... Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! Well, good defending, clattered out of there. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Newport County. It's now 1-0 with 61 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, they keep passing away. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Proctor. Versailles. That's a nice-looking ball. Still not clear. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Adams. Good-looking sequence. Wilson with it. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw-in. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Proctor difficult to stop him well that's how to do it In that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick well the free kick Lacking just a little bit of guile. Sweeney has it. And Young has it. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. Space and time for the cross. Intercepting it intelligently. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Giving the ball away. And he was in the right place to intercept. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside. This stadium, the fans are driving the players on. Surely they'll hang on here.
and continues his run and players waiting in the center will it happen this time so following the deflection a corner kick coming up here trying to pick out a teammate well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out me he's crashed it against the woodwork well it's so difficult to get that on target he's done fantastically well he can count himself unlucky there for side no space for them here Smodix Walker in possession They need to get tighter here. Chance to play it in. Good bit of pressing. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their face. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for answering the questions. Me escucha con Dion Piccolo, loco mirando fui a la escuela, le estoy dando para el pelo, aunque a tu soldado ya le duela, noche con maleta poco repo. Fuga la ventana del manolo, al tiempo más voy queriéndolo, el dinero también voy amándolo, cuando ya te coja vaya tela, parecía como de novela, ay loco no fui a la escuela. Pero sí que aprendí a...